This is going to be a series of individual videos on testing of many do-it-yourself alcohol stoves that I built out of small clear lid, clear lid containers. Cost anywhere from a dollar to two dollars each. I built a couple stainless steels around seven dollars each. This introduction part of the video will be included at the beginning of each stove video burn test. So skip ahead a little bit if you have already watched this portion of the video and want to get right to the burn testing. Each stove and video will be numbered and tested. Go to video number one if you want a basic description of the many stoves. I'll try to put all the specs in the description box of the video. Uh, what I'm going to test is the warm up time, boil time, burnout time, water temperature, and surrounding air temperature. I'll also include the alcohol capacity of each stove, the size of the stove, and the various materials used such as tin, aluminum, stainless steel. There will be a jet type, a wick type using carbon felt right here. Uh, and that will be to compare the different designs and materials. Each test will be done with the same aluminum pot. It has a 5 inch diameter bottom. I bought it at Walmart for a couple bucks. Um, well, I'll be using tap water. It's around 60 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees Two cups of water and there will be a couple tests that I'll use four and six cups of water Surrounding air temperature is in my garage. It's winter time in Iowa, but my garage is around 40 degrees So it's a little cool uh, My water temperature thermometer is about Five degrees low so keep that in mind and all the specs that I'm doing here is is not exact it'll be approximately I have some extra materials to build other stoves so if you have any suggestions or want me to try something different please let me know and I'll do it let's get started with the testing Okay, we're going to go on to stove number four, similar to stove three. It's a wick type stove. Looks like this, made out of the same wick, which is the Ote. You can get it at Lowe's. Flame protector. It's a carbon felt. You can just, you just, I just laid them in flat cut them and laid pieces in flat. I bought one of the, it looks like this. It's a at Walmart for a dollar. It's stainless steel. It's a sink drain strainer. And then I pulled it out, cut the center out, cut the diameter of this stainless steel screen. And here's the containers. They're small storage containers. Hobby Lobby, Amazon, 11 bucks for 12. Uh, they have a clear lid. Just punch the plastic out of the center. Take your stainless steel screen. Say that there's a little lip inside this lid so you can fit that stainless steel right in there. There's the inside. The wick material carbon felt don't have to drill any holes this is real easy to build cost again around two bucks this weighs about 13 grams also one two three and four stoves let's get this test going with it slider up this is a wick type type stove so it doesn't need any time to warm up well maybe it does let's see I can't see it it's lit. Might have to let it warm. Let's start the time. It's warming up. This requires a pot stand. So 
we'll put that on. This pot's gonna be about an inch above the top of that stove. So compared to stoves one through three, those were about three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the pot to the jet. We got two cups of water, air temperatures 42 degrees. I'm doing this all these, a lot of these tests on the same day, middle of winter in Iowa. I'm in my garage, so it's a little warmer than outside temperature, but it's 42 degrees. We're up to about a minute. The flame is going. The disadvantage to this type of stove is you have to have carry around this pot stand. We'll see how the testing comes out though. Looks like it's going to take longer to boil, but it'll probably burn a lot longer before it goes out. I will come back at about five minutes. We're at 73 degrees water temperature. We're at about 97 degrees. It's been about four minutes. I wanted to make sure I showed how to build this one. What I did is use stainless steel screen. I cut it to the diameter of the container. I bought this at Walmart for a dollar. It's stainless steel sink strainer. And I pulled that screen out of there and just laid a bunch of this carbon felt, this Ote carbon felt. You can buy it at Lowe's. It's in the soldering iron section. I put a bunch of flat, just layered them flat pieces like that. Put the screen in the center and then laid it on top like this. We're up to about five minutes now and we're at 109 degrees. This is do-it-yourself alcohol stove number four. I'm doing them all on the same day. So the temperature, the surrounding air temperature is around 40 to 42 degrees for all these tests. I'm using three quarters of an ounce. This one holds about three quarters of an ounce capacity of denatured alcohol because the carbon felt takes up quite a bit. The flame, we have a lot better flame now once it warmed up. And it's up to 127 degree water temperature. The water temperature thermometer here isn't quite right, but it's close within five plus or minus five degrees. It's just tap water. So my tap water is around 60 degrees when I started the test. Pretty much for all these tests, I'm just using the tap water. Six minutes, 136 degrees. We'll come back when it starts, the water starts to hiss. The water's hissing, we're at 160 degrees. With this thermometer, it boils at about 205. Actual should be, with a accurate thermometer, would be 212. We're gonna, coming up to eight minutes. I turned one of the lights out so you can see the flame a little better. Nice big flame. Bottom of the pot's about five inch diameter. We're up to 169. 
not boiling yet. It's steaming pretty good. Turn these lights back on. Hundred and eighty. Nine minutes. Not boiling yet. It's taking longer to, seems like the longer it takes to boil, the longer it will take for it to burn out also, so it kind of coincides with that. Number three alcohol stove was a do-it-yourself wick stove, similar to this. These are safer because the, the wick holds the alcohol so it won't spill. Let's see, we're up to 201. Should be boiling. Nope. Or a couple more degrees. 203. We're at 10 minutes. 205. And it's boiling. Got good steam coming out. 10 minutes and we'll say 20 seconds. 10 minutes. 20 seconds. Turn this off. We'll see how long it takes for it to go out. I'm trying to see which one it compares one through three alcohol stove. So far that took the longest. So the wick stoves take a little little bit longer to boil, but they last longer before they burn out all the way. Water's boiling really well. Got good steam coming out. Not as much as a rolling boil as stoves one and two, the Jets type stoves. So they burn a little cooler. Takes a little longer to boil with the wick type. They burn a little bit cooler, but they last longer before they burn out. We're at almost 12 minutes. Stove number three, wick type stove, went for 12 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm gonna have to turn the light out because I can't even see the flame. There, we can see it now. Really nice blue flame. Sounds like it's starting to die out a little bit. We're at 1238, the flame's still going though. Looks like it's gonna be around 13 minutes. The boil slowed down. It's still boiling just barely. Barely boiling, we're still going 13 minutes. I think it's done boiling. The flames slowly going out.
So. Let's see, we're at 13, almost 14 minutes. So this wick stove takes a lot longer to boil and longer to go out too. It's just barely going. It is, it's bubbling just a little bit still. It's still barely going. I think I'm going to call this burnout at 15 minutes approximately. We'll call it 15 minutes. It's just barely going. Okay, let's go. That's stove. Do it yourself, stove number four. Thanks for watching.